Ah, good morning. Good morning. I'm Dan Mason. <clears throat> That's who I am. And here's a look at the news. Oh yeah, here we go. You ready? All right. Here we go. Quantum mechanical particles travel backwards study confirms a team of particles physicists and mathematicians have confirmed all quantum mechanical particles move backwards in the opposite direction of the force acting upon them. The phenomenon is called backflow. Backflow. Hey, wasn't that that movie uh, with Kurt Russell uh, directed by Ron Howard? It was like 19... Anyway. Uh, until now, scientists have only observed the counterintuitive movement among free quantum particles, particles free from active forces. Now, so does that mean we're going to be able to go back in time? Does that mean that we're going to go ahead and be able to get that really good lottery ticket or purchase Google stock as an IPO? Or, you know, what wondrous things are the scientists going to be bringing us? Uh, I'm thinking like, uh, like nothing. You know, this will be like that car that runs on water. Moving on, nothing to see. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie uh, may not be on Donald Trump's cabinet because of an election night mistake involving President's germophobic attitude and a mobile phone. Apparently, according to Bloomberg Business Week's Joshua Green, um, Chris Christie was with the then, but now to be president. He was going to be president. He is, anyway, you know. Um, he says, if you win, President Obama is going to call you on my phone and I'll pass it to you. And he looked over and go, yeah, no, I'll use someone else's phone. Okay, this is why you don't go into the bathroom and play Candy Crush. You'll never get in the White House. Oh, bad news. Chipotle said Tuesday it had closed a restaurant in Sterling, Virginia. That's um, over there. Um, yeah, Sterling, Virginia. Uh, let's see what had happened here. Uh, after multiple customers said they had gotten sick from eating there, uh, the news sent Chipotle stock tumbling, of course. Uh, it made anybody wonder whether it's safe to eat at the chain. However, the food poisoning expert told Business Insider the chain isn't necessarily doing anything wrong. According to Mueller, there's a good chance the Chipotle in Sterling, Virginia was contaminated by a customer who was infected by the neurovirus, uh, which had spread throughout the restaurant. Uh, if that's the case, and there isn't much anything Chipotle could do. So, as a tip, you're at the restaurant. If the guy in front of you is projectile vomiting, go over to Burger King. All right, in Alabama, a court just rejected a government request for access to 15 full email accounts from Google, Microsoft, and Yahoo as a part of identity theft and tax fraud evasion. The reasons were simple. The government was asking for so much data, it would have infringed significantly on people's privacy. Privacy. Um, in sum, the judge said the government's request uh, amounted to substantial jeopardy to the Fourth Amendment rights of the users of the account. So... Uh, if you want to send him a thank you letter, he is, oh, this is a long title. All right. Chief Magistrate Judge for the United States District Court for the Middle District of Alabama, Wallace Capel Jr. That's C-A-P-E-L. So send him a welcome letter. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for standing up. All right. Uh, final story. This is, anyway. Uh, as you know, more and more people uh, turn to computers and smartphones for, to order dinners. I think even uh, McDonald's has a new app, which doesn't work, by the way. Um, and that's okay because the McDonald's people hate it anyway. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> anyway, uh, there's a new one coming down the pike. Uh, it's brought to you by Ride On Express. It's going to debut. It's called the Carry Rio, C-A-R-R-I Rio, delivery robot next month delivering sushi. Sushi. All right. Uh, like most of the delivery robots we've seen, the Cario is shaped a little bit by the uh, tiny bus. It stands a little over three feet tall. Camera sensors zip around at a, a whopping 3.7 miles per hour. Um, instant raw fish. Yeah, sounds like uh, sounds like a winner to me. Hey, uh, Dave, what do you want to do for uh, lunch today? Um, 
I don't know, I certainly don't want to get off my lazy chair. Uh, let's order something healthy like sushi. Hey, I got an idea for it. Go ahead and pack that sucker with cheeseburgers. Now you got something going on there. Hey, I'm Dan Mason. That's July 19th. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up, share. Have a happy day. It's Wednesday, hump day. <laughs> See you soon. Bye-bye.